How you doing? Howdy. Hey. Uh, hi. Uh, Randy Beggs, Matt Osborne. It's me. We do use the best street here, and we uh, we love it. We do a lot of it. Uh, so, one thing that I would like to talk to you about, um, you guys are our Sunday morning leadership team, both junior high and high school. So this is a video for all of you. And we wanted to do like a little list of things that are important uh, for you guys to remember. Helpful tips. Yes. So, uh, first thing is first, um, we, uh, we need you to help students sign in and we also need you to greet. Ideally, it's our dream. I mean, our dream come true if an adult um, or five adults greet every single student. We know that that's probably not gonna happen, maybe unrealistic, but it's just a dream. And they tell us to dream big. It's, it's huge to a student when you know their name. Even if it's somebody you don't see every day, it makes a huge difference. So, every kid that walks in the door, five adults are greeting them, meeting them, talking to them, finding out where they're from. So that's important, that's one. Two is... Number two, in small groups, when we do small groups, we have, we have discussion questions. We would prefer for you guys to be discussion leaders. A lot of times it's, it's good to just lead discussion as opposed to teach again, because these students are like, they have questions, and you get to answer those. Discussion leaders, it sounds so great. And that is, uh, that's really the main priority, and that's the number one priority you have in um, someone in there really is greeting and then being a small group leader. And so, um, with the small groups, like Matt said, it really is important, guys, that you, you get involved in their life. Here's some things that, that I've seen that's done, that people have done well with, is getting to know the kids, adopting a group, and staying with them. Um, and if you haven't seen a kid in a few weeks, help us. You know, send a Facebook message, email them, talk to their mom and dad. Say, hey, I, you know, your kid was in my small group and I haven't seen him in a few weeks. Um, that type of stuff helps. It goes a long way with them and with y'all. And then eventually, you never know, you might be calling me, like a few of our parents that have been leading there for a while, says, hey, let's go to Love Toys basketball game. I'm like, why would we do such a thing? Um, because you love the kids. Yeah. That's two. Three is, um, um, being involved in the worship time with the students, um, it's real easy for the adults to kind of congregate to the back, and we do like to see you guys mingle and get to, and get to know each other. That's great. We love that too. Um, but eventually, working your way up into the chairs and into the worship with the students is important. It may seem weird to uh, be a part of a student's life, and they may think they may pretend like they don't like you, but in reality, when they, when someone shows that they care, it means a lot to them too. Like I got some salt and peps right here. Yep, I'm a little old too. You know, I'm 25. So we got something coming. Uh, poor man. Um, we're, we're trying to help. A um, couple other things is uh, beyond the greeting, beyond the small group leader, getting involved in the worship. Um, is this year we would like to, to to maybe highlight some of our adult leaders. Maybe have you guys tell some testimonies about yourselves. Um, and we would like to start that pretty soon. So first of September, we might be contacting some of you. Get you up in front of the whole group before the master taught lesson to tell a quick testimony of who you are, your family, your story. Um, we think that'd be cool, we'd love to do that, we wanna do that. Um, I think the kids would appreciate it and it would give them a better understanding of who you are and maybe even help them be comfortable with you to open up about things in their life. I know when I share my testimony, I almost always get an email or a Facebook or even just a face-to-face -face conversation with a student about an area in their life that they're struggling with. So we wanna do that, um, that's important. Um, what else, Matt? Just being involved with their lives, I think. A lot of times we can be in there and think that they just don't like us. And so, you just slap some of them. Sometimes you just gotta go like this. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah they love it. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, that is important. We've slapped a few students in our day. Um, so, greeting students um, and then being a small group leader, um, telling your testimonies, getting involved in the worship. Um, those are all important and then you know beyond that ultimately don't don't ever feel like you're not connected we want you to be connected one of the things that we we want to do is take less off of our adult leadership's plate so that you can just show up be a part of it not have that stress of preparing you know this extravagant lesson it's not really about that it's about being involved in their life being a parent um, helping us tear down uh, that whole stigma that parents aren't cool you are cool we know you're cool Way cooler. You know it. Especially Way cooler. cooler. Unbelievable. One more so, thing. One more. Uh, a lot of times we can use an extra, a little bit of extra help getting more parents in there. Just leadership and whatever. Uh, we don't know as many people as you guys might know. Uh, 
Um, we know you guys, and you guys are great, but if you know anybody else who might be interested, we're a friend of a friend, tell them to come talk to us, call us, email us, Facebook, text message. We'd love to get involved with more people and more smiling faces. So if you know somebody, Wednesday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, anytime, just let us know. We love you guys. You're awesome. Hey, what is that? Oh. <laughs>